Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 La Barkatory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. Huh! I always feel like I should get like an extra gold star or maybe like a, a little handful of, of like uh, delicious cookies for being able to rattle that off without tripping over my own tongue. It takes uh, practice, let's just say. But considering that we have a few hundred episodes of our La Barkatory Challenges with probably hundreds more to go since you guys keep coming coming up with such great suggestions, well, I'll have plenty of time to practice. And that's a good thing, because this week we are going to be looking at wolves, which we look at normally anyway, because it's like one of the three things, wolves, and then like warrior cats, and then like horses, <laughs> sometimes dinosaurs, often sims, that uh, helped provide a home over this post biologist's head. But this is a very exciting week because it is actually International Wolf Day! Woo! Where I hope all of you will be able to take a little bit of time to learn more about one of the most popular canines in the entire world and possibly look into your local issues with them. Because if you guys really love wolves and you really want to do something to be able to help them, if uh, what's happened to the red wolves in North Carolina this week has been any proof. Being able to be very active in your local voting and uh, policies is going to be what helps them the most. Ah, but I'll step down from that well-worn soapbox because we have a lot to do today! We are going to be very busy mixing Villainous the Wolf's DNA with none other than Furby the Gazelle! And Furby is actually named after Cool Horse Lover's adorable lion head rabbit. I am so tickled that you actually had a lion head rabbit after we were talking about them whilst we were mixing some lion and rabbit DNA very recently. And uh, I love your idea of having Kazami and a unicorn. I actually really need to take a little bit of time to play through all of Okami. I'm going to restart it and really see if I can make it through, hopefully before cherry blossom season. Uh, but that's a conversation for, you know, a whole nother series. For now, my friends, I am very excited because I want to see if we end up with either a wolf with these beautiful gazelle horns, once again provided by Kalino and her amazing custom content, uh, or if we're going to end up, you know, with a gazelle that might have like that dark, beautiful black coat that Villainous the Wolf actually has. Ah, oh, and now that we have the new way of mixing all of the DNA, it's just been so much fun to see what we get every time. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and snap on those safety goggles, break out our to-do list, and we are going to be mixing the Gazelle Furby and the Wolf Villainous's DNA, seeing what babies we get, and when they grow up, we will roll the dice of destiny to see if they inherit the Gazelle Horns and the Gazelle Antlers, or not! All right, pretty straightforward. I mean, by now, I feel like you guys should be getting plenty of extra credit for all of the work that you've been doing around here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we are going to welcome a little girl after we roll three times. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Okay, one. Okay, that one wasn't so cute. Two. <laughs> three. Okay, okay. Not having your eyes cross like completely different directions, that's fine. And this is actually going to be Jack after Jack Attack Gaming. And I'm so glad you're enjoying our laboratory adventures, Jack. I hope that you don't mind being apparently a friendly, energetic, and jumpy little... Wait a second, I didn't come up with a good name. <gasps> I didn't come up with a good name! Okay, I'm gonna need your guys' help. Wolf and Antelope. Wopalope? Wolfalope? Uh, Antelo, Antelo, Ant Antelof? Oh dear. All right, there has to be a cooler name for a wolf and an antelope crossbreed than that. <laughs> All right, Jack, let's go ahead and see what uh, the Dice of Destiny say that your DNA are actually going to be. And you're actually going to have white for this color. This is actually really cute. Um, and then you're going to have, let me make sure I get the right one. So you're going to actually have this grip. Ooh, already we're looking really cool. That gray color there, and then you are going to have, let's see. Let me make sure I get the right one. Mm, yes, okay. And then you're going to have oh, that as your next gene. Oh, you already look so cool. I actually really love that because it is like taking the gray of the wolves and mixing it with a little antelope layover. Oh, I can't wait to see what you turn out to be when you grow up. Especially because I'm not gonna lie, I think it's gonna have some hilarious results with the like, look at this antelope face. Look at that. This is meant to go ahead and chew on all of those branches and grass, not, you know, take down entire elk. But here we are. And maybe, maybe that would actually look really hilarious. 
All right, let's pull up the next little one because, you know, now that we've got so much to do. Oh, that's a beautiful baby. That's very pretty. All right, this one is actually going to be a little boy. And let me make sure. Yep. So now we're going to randomize one, two. Oh, that's so cute. And then three. Oh, we got another one with this kind of pattern. Cool. So this is actually going to be Bear after Mama Bear Girl Cub. <laughs> What a fun name. And Bear, you are going to be a hairy, uh, aggressive troublemaker. I think you got most of the wolf side of the wolfalope. I mean, wolfalope, wafflope? Wafflope sounds kind of cool, but it also makes me very hungry for waffles. Uh, no, no. You see, this is why you all work here in the, the laboratory with me. Sometimes you need inspiration so that people can really understand, you know, the, the branding, the marketing, how you present these creatures who's... Okay, Bear, I just noticed your eyes are huge, so I think we might get a really interesting result when you grow up. But, uh, you know, it's all in how you sell things to people to make them really go ahead and give us more funding for the lab. And you gotta make things sound cool so how do we make waffle sound cool yeah you know saying it out loud a few times really makes me realize we might need a little bit of help there oh but all right so bear you actually have black for your first color oh and you have white for your second color <gasps> whoa that's such a neat way to like flip it around and then you are actually going to have gray for your last color are you kidding? I never would have picked these on my own. Oh, I can't wait. Wait, you. Okay, we've got to grow you up there, which means I need to go ahead and carry on with these experiments so we can get your siblings in here. Oh, I hope you guys are taking notes because these guys are getting very exciting. All right. And next up, we're going to go ahead and have another little boy. And we're going to randomize one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we got a good range of muscles there. Whoa, and what do we have here for the coloring? All right, guys, I would like you all to say hello to Saikan. And Saikan, a hippogriff and an axis deer. I am just impressed that you know that the axis deer exist because there's a lot of ungulates out there and the deer, oh man, there's some amazing deer out there. You guys know about the little fang deer, right? Like the tiny itty bitty little guy with, with fangs. And you know about the little dick dick, the very, very cute tiny itty bitty deer that has like dainty itty bitty toe beans. Well, not really toes, like little hoof beans, but still. Oh, maybe we need a little dick dick in here. Oh, I really love that idea. Okay. Okay. Seikan, see, you are definitely inspiring me. And you are going to be a hairy hunter who is a bit of a couch potato. But, you know, don't we all deserve a day like that now and then? And you are going to have, so you're going to have the gray wolf color followed by, let's see, you're actually going to get black for the next color. Oh man, this is so much fun just to see what everybody inherits. And then you're going to have, ooh, this brown. We haven't had that brown yet. And then finally, you're going to end up with, let's see, another gray. Hey, I think that you are really trying to hold on to some of those, like, wolf genes. So we'll have to see if you grow up to have a, you know, a very teensy tiny little face and dainty toe beans. Or if you're going to be, I mean, well, you are a couch potato, but you are a hunter. Maybe you just want to hunt, like, you know, grass, though. Huh. We'll have to see how you turn out once you age up, my friend. Next up, we have got... Da -da 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 -da. Next up, we have got... Wow, that's a really pretty... That's a... Okay. Okay, I have to do it. Oh man, I don't want to, but I have to do- Oh, that's such a beautiful animal. Oh my gosh, you guys! We should be working with villainous genes more often because- Oh, <laughs> because I'm sure we could get some really pretty ones. And this is going to be a little girl. We're going to randomize one. Oh dear. Two. Oh my, you really get quite the range. Oh, three. Oh, come back. Four. Okay. Five. And six. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't quite what it could have been. Let's just accept that for Anna. And Anna, hello, hello. Oh, who is that cute puppy that you have as your avatar, by the way? Because that's absolutely adorable. And you suggest a mini unicorn and a giraffe. Ooh, I mean, if you guys want to work with the Blurst giraffe, I will. Because it's awesome. But I just hope that all of you are prepared for the consequences if we do that. Anna, you are going to be a vocal, playful, and loyal itty-bitty little one who... Let's see what your colors are going to be. So you're actually going to have black for your first color. Okay, that's... This looks like a little puppy who's trying to be like an undercover spy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and you're going to have white for the next color. 
What is this? You look like some sort of art piece. This is really cool. And then you're going to have, uh, let's see. Yeah, this brown shade. Okay, you look amazing. That's what I mean. Even when we end up with ones who look like they could be like the rest of their siblings, we get these huge differences. This is so fun. And I haven't even started throwing like hooves and ant or like hor hooves and horns on these little ones yet. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. I always get like so excited. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to have Let's see, a female, and we're gonna roll a few times. Let me make sure I have the right name. And we've got one, two, three, four. We can get a big variety. Okay, that was actually four, it just looks, okay, five and six. Yes, we finally ended up with, with one that has all of the black fur. Oh, that's so exciting. I wish I knew why the, the red eyes were so dominant. I might look into maybe trying to reduce that. Mm. Eh, well, a little more admin stuff to do for the lab, don't worry. And this is actually going to be Fuzzball. And Fuzzball, man, I wish we could get our hands on some chinchillas. That would be amazing. How many of you guys actually have interacted with a chinchilla before? And by interacted, I mean, how many of you have watched as a chinchilla basically took off like lightning across your house while your friend who brought her chinchilla over is frantically chasing it before your Great Danes notice because it's a lot faster than you expected, but then it comes back because it wants its dust bath? Not like that happened to me or anything as teenager. <clears throat> Fuzzball, you are going to be an aggressive, hairy glutton, which tells me that you might either have a very aggressive attitude about people getting on your lawn and eating your grass, or you might take more after the wolf side of things. Oh, all right. And let's see what your coloration is actually going to be, just in case this changes anything. Except it doesn't because the next color is going to be black. And then your next color is actually going to be white, though. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, it does change something! Oh, that's so cool! And then your last color is actually going to be one of these grays. Oh man, fuzzball. That turned out so much cooler than I was expecting! <gasps> awesome! All right, and then let's go ahead and wrap it up with the last one of our little Petri dishes, which means the last one of you guys providing all of your suggestions for our fantastic genetic experiments. And this time around, we're going to have another little girl. We will randomize one. That was two? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Not like the, okay, you, okay. The eyes aren't scaring me. I don't know what you're talking about. And also we have Carby Kitty. Carby Kitty, I'm so glad that you love all of the little lion crossbreeds that we did last time. And also a lion rabbit could be a hop on, hop yawn. Hmm, I like that. See, this is why I need your guys' help at coming up with something more exciting than a, a, a wolfalope or a, Antelof, the popple. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to go. Lope, antelope, uh, wolf ant. That, that doesn't even work. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Carby Kitty, clearly you're the smart one here, who is quite friendly and a little bit hairy. Let's go ahead and see what your DNA says you look like before you grow up and possibly get something even more exciting to keep us on our toe beans. You're actually gonna have this brown. That's adorable. Uh, followed by white. Also adorable. <laughs> Uh, followed by black. So this is actually going to be your coloration. Yeah, it's adorable. It kind of looks like a bit like a dachshund or like a Doberman, but it also actually blends these two coats quite well. So all right, there we go, you guys. Look at all of this variation and try not to worry too much about Carby Kitty's eyes. I'm sure this is going to turn out fine. Let's grow these little ones up and see if the Dice of Destiny says if they inherit the horns and the hooves of their parent. All right, Jack, you're first. Okay, okay. All right, all right. We're not, we're not doing all the, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad, Jack. I'm impressed. You did inherit the horns. You did not inherit the hooves. So let me go ahead and bequeath you with uh, something that hopefully you won't use your, your energetic powers to just cause everybody to like have all of their things knocked over with. But there we are, Jack. There we are. Very, very dignified way of combining like the wolf face with the antelope horns and ears. I have to say, I'm really impressed. You pulled it off. I was trying to make you like one of the most in undignified creatures ever. And you just, you rolled with it. <gasps> I forgot how beautiful Bear is. Oh my gosh, Bear. <gasps> oh my gosh, Bear. Yes. Oh, you're so pretty. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I, maybe I should get a cow in here actually, so we could go ahead and mix those genes in. And you inherited both the horns, 
so you did get the horns and you did get the cloven hooves. Um, wow. Just, just wow. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Bear! What a beautiful antelope! This is very, very satisfying. Wow. Okay. Meanwhile, let's see what Seikan is up to. And the answer is... Going ahead and inheriting the horns. Uh, and also, I love the, the like casual, like, are you doing this sort of glower that you have. So you are going to inherit the horns, but you are not going to inherit the hooves. And I, I like that face. I like the way that you're just like, yeah, I've got couch potato things to do. Thank you very much. Oh, all right. Anna? Oh, I forgot Anna's coloration. <gasps> Anna! Look at you! Wow! You turned out kind of like a jackal or a coyote! Uh, and Anna! Wow, I love this mix! Look at the fur! Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I seriously might have to add you into one of my, like, stories, Anna, because this is, this is just a beautiful animal. But, uh, Anna, you did not actually end up inheriting the horns or the hooves, so I think that you are off to be part of a very confused but very loyal wolf pack. Then we've got little Fuzzball. Fuzzball, fuzzball, okay, okay. Big old antelope ears. You you balanced everything quite well. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. You did end up inheriting both the horns, so let's get those little puppies onto you. Uh, and the cloven hooves as well, so... Hmm, there we go. You know, that's not too bad. If I squint, you could be some sort of very interesting mountain goat with very aggressive behaviors. And uh, maybe I don't want to- oh my gosh, look at the ears when you do that. That was so funny! <laughs> oh, that makes me think we need to do something with an elephant pretty soon. Oh. And finally, Crimey Kitty, with those big, beautiful eyes. <gasps> you actually grew into them! I didn't expect that! I really didn't! But you pulled it off! Oh my gosh, you get all the credit for pulling that off too, because I legitimately didn't think that you were going to make that happen and like make it work, but you did. So, Carby Kitty, welcome, welcome. You actually ended up with the horns, but not the hooves. So, I hope your ears are okay. It looks a little uncomfortable, not gonna lie, uh, but it, I mean, hopefully you can make do. Oh, you, you guys, you guys. Once again, this is why. This is why you just need to trust in randomness a little bit every day. And this is why even when you're not sure where things will take you, you should just follow through because look at this. Look at these amazing creatures. I love them. Oh, they're so pretty. But all right, it is International Wolf Day, which means we could indeed make this into Wolf Week. So if you guys would like to join us on more of these adventures, then do keep leaving your suggestions down below. I might throw in a few more wolves over the coming few days because why not? I know that you guys happen to be very much in love with them, to say the least, if wolf quest requests are anything to go off of. But most importantly, my friends, I hope all of you stay curious and find something that just absolutely delights you and brings you some joy today. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Oh my gosh, Bear. Your face brings me joy. It truly does. <laughs>